This is the FOMO podcast, FOMO fighter, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just me getting hit above all my fighters. Um, I just wanted to do my own little video for uh, YouTube and for uh, the podcast. I am Derek A. Game Atkins, if you know me a little bit. Um, I just got out of the shower, had sparring earlier, and did a bunch of work. Um, guys, I just want to talk about the hardships of being a fighter and training. Because I get people all the time that hit me up, hey, I want to fight, I want to fight. It's not that easy. It's really not. Uh, let me hold this mic a little bit better. That should be good. I talk loud enough, hopefully. So, but it's one of those things that fighting sucks. Not, I don't mean all the, uh, um, all the training area. The training it does suck. It's rough. I have amateurs kicking my butt every day. Messing up my hair more. It's not good. Um, <laughs> but I have I have amateurs, pros, all kinds of people kicking my butt, and it's rough. Uh, my ego gets in the way sometimes. Every once in a while, we hurt people. Um, not not seriously. I stop myself before I really hurt them, which is good. Um, I keep saying, oh my god, stop that. <sighs> I train. I've been doing this for over five years. I've done really a lot in the five years. Uh, when I look at some guys I really am friends with and lucky enough to know text message and all this stuff, the Kamozi brothers, uh, James Krause, Zach Cummings, all these guys that some of them I started with, like Tim Elliott. I know I'm name dropping a little bit, but showing you guys have a I have a little bit of background in this. I've seen these guys. They're awesome guys, and they're great to emulate a little bit. Um, they've been in it much longer than me, and they've been doing it much longer than me. And I get hard on myself, just like everybody else gets hard on themselves. We have an amateur that has been trained for about a year. That's it. And he gets ticked almost every Sunday that like he gets beat up by me. Today I talked to him. And it was, it was him griping that, oh, right after I told him not to do something, he kept doing it. And one of the easiest things I could ask him was, how long have you been doing that? And he's like, I don't know, probably forever, but I've never really noticed it till you told me. And I told you two minutes ago, and you're still doing it. It's it's that balance of. You've been doing it so long, you're not going to change it. You're not going to fix it. You have to break down what you were doing and then relearn a new tactic. So that's extra long. That's why I love as a coach on my coaching side, I love getting somebody with a blank slate. If somebody does not have any background, does not have any training, anything and everything, if it's not good training, then I want none. Because there's a, one of our amateurs uh, hasn't even fought yet. Neither of these guys have fought yet. But he had no background, had no training. And I got him immediately. And I got to build off of him immediately. And I didn't have to break him of anything. So it really worked out well to make him better quick. And that was great. I loved it because I would tell him to do something. And he had nothing to get rid of to do that. So therefore he would run with it. And I could show him something on a Friday night at open mat or Saturday afternoon workout and then Sunday sparring with the other top guys in our gym and he would start hitting it, giving guys problems. And I love that. But fighting's tough. Um, I've been on the shelf now for, what, November, November, December, January. Whew, wow, only like four months and I'm, I'm not happy. I'm ready to get back in the cage. But I'm loving the coaching. I'm helping out Christina Williams get ready for her fight. Um... We have Benjamin, Pody, Ryan, John Hill, all these guys from my team about to fight in the next three weeks. And it's just great. It's fun. I have all these young people that are wanting to learn from me. Old people who want to learn from me. Everybody. Uh, I love how our people don't have egos that if they're older than me or been in it as long or longer than me, uh, most of them can still learn from me. Just like I will learn from anybody. There are people that have been in it for a year or two. They watch the right video. 
and they're like, hey, have you seen this? And I'm like, no, show me. I want to learn. It's awesome. It's 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 an evolving sport. Um, I'm just kind of rambling a little bit right here, but I just wanted to show my feelings that it's rough fighting for a living. Like right now, I am coaching and fighting is my career, and it is rough. I hate it because I'm living day to day, not paycheck to paycheck because I don't need a paycheck. I get a certain price for my coaching. I do private lessons. I do this. I do that. I sell CBD oils. I do all kinds of things that get me money, but therefore I don't, I, if I don't do anything for three days, if I, if I'm sick, then all my money goes away. I have no vacation time. I have nothing. I don't have anything that's like, oh yeah, there, hey, you're going to get paid anyway, even though you're missing. So therefore, uh, it's just rough. So, uh, a story I love telling is we've had some guys that trained with us. Sorry, I know I move around a lot. I, I don't sit still. We've had guys, last little story right here, and then I'm going to end this. We have guys that train or do awesome. Great jujitsu guys, and they get into Muay Thai or vice versa, and they do great. They're awesome. They can hang with every one of our top guys, all this stuff. And I and I asked him, like, hey, you, you want to get a fight? I can get you a fight here in the next month or two, three months. We can have you in the cage soon. Maybe even a ring, Muay Thai or something like that. And they tell me, no, I don't want to fight. Which is amazing to me because they're putting in the training, the time, getting beat up, having sore muscles, having black eyes, and they don't want to. But at the same time, when they tell me I don't want to fight, I straight up tell them, okay, then don't. Do not fight. You are good. If you don't have the heart to fight, don't fight. Sometimes you think you have the heart to fight, and you don't take a step back and reevaluate because it may not be the sport for you. I think fighting is an amazing feeling, and everybody should get hit in the face in their life. But guess what? I those guys that just want to train, they're getting hit in the face. They spar with us, and they do great. But they have no urge to actually uh, do it in a real sense. Then, then don't. Plain and simple. Uh, this uh, picture is really making me weird right here. Sorry. Uh, it's making me mess up on what side to slide my hair and everything. So, thank you guys. Let us know what you want to hear from... Uh, this is under Derek A. Game Atkins and Formal Fighter. Uh, I'm going to start doing vlogs. Uh, Daniel from Formal Fighter starting new blogs. We're going to try to get Johnny doing blog vlogs, video logs. Um, we're working on doing vlogs. And we're just, we're just working to add more content and give you guys an, an, a look at, before you start, not to be completely lost. So, let us know what you guys want to hear. What's your questions? I appreciate you guys listening to me. If you listen this long, you guys are awesome.